Okay, so today we're gonna do some soil dilutions on a soil sample. I have a number of samples to do, but I'm just gonna show you how to do a set of one. I already cleaned the area with 70% isopropyl alcohol. Other good things to have around are a vortex for mixing your sample, cotton tip swabs for spreading the sample, your plates pre-labeled with the dilution series you want, and test tubes, which we are going to fill with Point eight five percent sodium chloride. So we'll put nine mils in here. We're gonna do one to ten dilutions. The point eight five percent sodium chloride is around isotonic for most cells things are too salty or not salty enough you can change the osmotic pressure in some of the samples and that can lead to cell deaths if you're looking for spore formers then it's not that big of a deal so we'll get our p1000 tips <laughs> Dude guy. So start with a 10 to the 0 tube, 10 to the negative 1, 10 to the negative 2, and 10 to the negative 3. Some people go lower, however, rarely see enough cells on the plates to make it worth it. So you want to scoop some of your dirt in. Some people weigh out exactly one gram. In this particular case, I just want bacteria on a plate. If you do multiple samples, you can sterilize the spatula vortex. It helps to dislodge any cells or spores. Letting the solids settle also helpful take our p1000 set to one mil do our one to ten dilutions so we'll go below the dirt to the middle pipette pipette up and down in our next dilution to mix Then it's easy to get your P100s. You can set your soil samples aside. Plating 100 microliters. Plating 100, changing 100. You lay your plates out, 10 to the 0, 10 to the negative 1, 10 to the negative 2, 10 to the negative 3. These are our dilution plates. Um, these have different medias, so we're going to swap these. Yeah, now we're good. If you start at the lowest dilution, you don't have to change your tip. So we'll get 100 microliters. We tend to negative three dilution. Put it on the two media. Go up, ten to the negative two. <clears throat> you 
get some dirt on there, that's fine. I'm gonna grab a cotton swab, make sure you open it from the back end. And then you just swab. Just to rotate the plate 90 degrees multiple times to get full coverage. If you angle the plate, you can see that you've covered everything. Again, if you start at the low dilution, you can keep the same cotton swab tip and move up because the number of cells you're going to carry over is not that much. Using two media types. One is actinomyces isolation agar. This contains components that are preferentially metabolized by the actinomycetes, mainly the streptomycetes, which is what most people look for when they're looking for antibiotic producing bacteria. It will inhibit some other bacteria. And the other media is 1 tenth tryptocase soy agar. Use one tenth strength because some of the faster growing microbes on full strength media can quickly overgrow and outcompete other bacteria. And also, when you stress microbes with limited nutrients, they tend to sometimes overproduce secondary metabolites as a defense mechanism, which will help us in identifying particular strains that are bioactive against our target pathogen. This is a depressing sounding video. Yeah, I was just thinking about All right, great. Now we have their plates, they're inverted. Bring them to the incubator. This one's at 30 degrees C. See you in a couple days, little buddy. GoPro, stop recording.